This word grace finds its way into notoriety through one of the most beloved hymns, "Amazing Grace," written by a slave ship captain, John Newton. The first stanza spells out what grace means to Captain Newton. It says, "Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see." I do believe that Captain Newton would have defined grace as a saving grace. However, most evangelical Christians believe that they are currently under what we call the age of grace, thus gave way to a very unbiblical teaching called hypergrace. In this four-part series, first we seek to take a deeper look into the meaning of this word grace through both testaments. And through utilizing the law of the first mention, to attach this word grace to the first person who has found grace in the eyes of the Lord, and that is Noah in Genesis chapter six, verse eight. One of the most amazing patterns we will venture into is to illustrate how the story of Noah and the ark is a pattern or a visual representation of the crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Yeshua Hamashiach. We will unlock many of these Hebrew words and present them as a word picture meaning. They will captivate one's five senses, just like going to a movie. On one hand, we will be presenting the fun aspect of studying the scripture. On the other hand, we will also dive deeply into the word to uncover these precious words of Yehovah. Please subscribe to our channel to receive updates on our newest videos. Visit BibleInteract.tv for more in-depth video teachings, and keep up with us on Facebook and Twitter. Click on the links next to me to view more videos like this one, and become a donor on our Patreon page. Join us in uncovering the hidden meanings in Scripture.